Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is about the update, because part of it has been released. Remember that boat we've been seeing with all those Captain's Log videos and everything? Well, it turns out they were on uh, pace to go to an island that has balancing update changes to it. That's where they're going to find these balancing update uh, changes and bring them back to the village. No, just kidding there. This is um, just a small corollary of the main update, something that is being uh, released ahead of time. And I think there are some good changes in it. We're going to talk all about it because a lot of people are saying it's a loon nerf. Some are saying it's a loon buff. Um, I guess it can be seen both ways. But I'm going to do my best to kind of go through it, make some sense out of it for you guys. Because the main things are the Town Hall 11 changes. Um, possible some Town Hall 9 impacts as well, and then the overall balloon nerf, uh, which seems to be the biggest thing because it is a nerf to some extent, in my opinion, of balloons. So we'll just go through kind of in the order that things were written up in their post. Um, starting here with the new Town Hall 11 changes, the uh, clone spell for Town Hall 11 has been added at level 5, so more capacity there at level 5, and also at that the clone spell uh, capacity for levels 1 through 5 have been uh, increased in the level 3 clone spell now at Town Hall 10, so all attempts to make it used um, a little bit more at Town Hall 11 and then uh, make it actually a thing at Town Hall 10 because no one uses it there. I think it would be a cool thing to add to Town Hall 10 and it looks like that's what they're trying to do. So it has been added, um, uh, level three has been brought down and it's been ramped up a little bit. We'll see if it has much of an impact. I think they're gonna be careful, not make it too powerful. They kind of want to inch their way up to a balance but not overshoot it. So um, it might be a little bit wild before people find ways to use it. That's how it worked with Town Hall 11 for a while. No one used it and now we're seeing people using using it in uh, in three star attacks and stuff like that. So we'll have to just kind of wait and see. Um, but their, their um, rationale is that weak clone spells are underwhelming, as they say, especially at Town Hall 10. So they have more cloning capacity. The newest clone spell reaches up to 40, letting you get 8 balloons or even 2 dragons per spell, which is pretty good. Um, I wish they lasted the entire time, but they do disappear. Not that big of a deal for balloons, I guess, but... Uh, yeah, so now there's the new level 6 free spell at Town Hall 11 and the new level 7 heal spell at Town Hall 10. So, first of all, the Town Hall 11 free spell, I I like it, but remember, Town Hall 11 is going to be, at least from my perspective, which is talking about the high-level wars, is going to be focused on dip attacks, on going down hitting lower bases like Town Hall 10s, stuff like that, the weaker bases below the actual um, established Town Hall 11s. Those dip attacks are going to be what mainly Town Hall 11s do, and because of that, um, the changes at Town Hall 11 won't be seen in terms of 3-star attacks much until Town Hall 10 becomes more viable for 3-stars, because even at the highest level, it's still very difficult difficult to pull off some of these Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 3 stars, especially with the great base designs and everything that we see nowadays. But the heal spell, I like it. Level 7, um, especially because that's a popular troop for um, hogs, for ground attacks in general. It's used a little bit for air attacks. We see heals on balloons um, occasionally even more than occasionally sometimes, but I think it's going to have more of an impact on ground, and I think that's something we want to see, because bowlers, hogs, valks, it's all there, but it's not there at the same time. It's very close to being viable, certain combinations, but it's still very difficult to pull off a ground attack, at least uh, compared to a La Loon attack at Town Hall 10. So it's nice we're seeing the uh, level 7 heal spell down the Town Hall 10. Um, and the rationale, they say, is that the heal spell becomes uh, limited against the Inferno Tower, so this will make it more of a reason to use it, despite the Inferno blocking it in certain situations. Uh, the free spell being added to kind of battle the power of the Eagle Artillery, as they say, um, at Town Hall 11. The level 6 free spell, that is. Okay, um, some small things. They're adding another gold mine and elixir collector to Town Hall 9, which previously was just for Town Hall 10s. So that's all good. More resources for Town Hall 9s. Bomb damage increased. It's a small thing, but I definitely like it. And I agree with what they were saying about the bomb now being able to destroy a wall breaker of equal level. That's important um, because the small bombs at Town Hall 10 don't even kill a wall breaker currently. And we want to see that be an option. So they're more of a, of a factor in base building and stuff. So that should be cool. I definitely like that change. 
Um, that way you don't have to put two bombs to try to kill a wall breaker. Just one will do the job and it'll make the test wall breaker even more important and it'll really make some people mad if they fail on a wall breaker fail. Okay, let's get to the big one though. Balloon attack rate increased. Now there's a lot of speculation going out, but let me just be clear on the facts before we talk about what this might mean for the game. First of all, the change does not affect the speed of the first initial drop, which was previously increased. So they still get that fast drop that they got from the last balancing update. They also still have the same DPS. So if you look on the stats, the balloons will do the same amount of DPS, it says. The difference is how they do that DPS. It's no longer in heavy attacks every, I don't know how long, maybe say five seconds. They drop every five seconds. I'm just pulling that number out of the air. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like it'll be something like they do a medium amount of damage every three seconds. Maybe not that drastic, but it's basically keeping the DPS the same, but making them do uh, less damage, but in quicker attack speeds. So this kind of happened to the dragon, the P.E.K.K.A., um, where, but at those troops, I don't think, got, they didn't get much of a of a uh, decrease in damage, so they actually had a buff because the DPS, I think, actually went up for those troops, if I'm not mistaken. But this is keeping the balloons at a constant DPS and lowering their uh, damage per shot and increasing the attack rate. Now, the reason I think this is a nerf is because most of the time, you don't see balloons dropping um, multiple times on a building. The power of balloons is the fact that two balloons can take out a cannon and an archer tower. They just move through the base quickly. So if we start to see balloons not be quite as powerful, forcing them to stop on like an expo especially and have to drop, if you have a group of four balloons and have to make them drop an extra time, even if it's quicker, it's still gonna take an extra two, three, four seconds, however long it is, and that really forces um, a greater strain on your attack. Basically, the power of balloons is, first of all, the trades. You can do um, the trade on the mortar. One balloon uh, takes out the mortar with the bomb drop and the crash. The trades on the Teslas at some levels. Um, those are probably not going to be an option because the balloon, one drop will not be enough to take out the defense. You'll have to drop in more balloons for those small trades. But like I said, the most important thing is going to be um, balloons having to do multiple drops from certain defenses. Um, the Inferno Tower might take um, what previously could have been taken out by a group of like three or four balloons under Rage, might take an entire another round of drops. And because your balloons travel in groups, if one group has to spend two different drop cycles taking out a defense, that really adds to the attack time um, and the time they take to move through the base, which can be really detrimental. Whereas previously, it wasn't a big deal that they took so long to drop in between uh, their in between like their uh, attacks, it didn't matter that much because almost one uh, balloon drop from a group would take out the defense. If you had a significant amount of balloons, which hopefully you do, um, it would be enough. So I think this is a nerf. We'll see how it plays out. Now, if you have like a group of a few balloons on like an Inferno Tower, you know, maybe it'll be uh, better that it does the drops quicker if it already has to do multiple drops anyway. But I think this is going to add situations where there's going to be multiple uh, balloon drops from each balloon where it could have just been one each, then they move on. And that was the power of balloons. The fact that, okay, fine, it takes a long time between drops for them to drop their bombs, but at the same time, it only takes one drop per balloon on most defenses if you have a significant group of balloons. And oftentimes over expos and inferno towers, you would have a rage spell. And that combined with a few balloons would be enough to get it done in one drop from each balloon. So I think this is going to be a nerf. Um, not a huge one. Depends on how serious this uh, this change is. It could be a slight thing. It could be more of a drastic thing. I think balloons will still do quite a bit of damage. But we'll kind of have to sit back and see how this affects the game. Um, I've not had any chance to play around with this or anything. So I know as much as you guys do about all this stuff. And uh, I think um, I think we'll just have to see how it goes. My opinion personally, not going to be a huge change, but will be a slight nerf to balloons, which might help Town Hall 9 a little bit. But Town Hall 10, even though balloons are more favored, 
Um, we're not seeing anywhere, uh, for most people at least, or can't even get close to three stars. Only the top war clans are really seeing possibilities of three stars at Town Hall 10, against good bases that is, and I think we don't want to nerf one of the most popular strategies. But we'll see how it plays out. I think this was definitely a change that was... Uh, was thought about for a while at Supercell, and I'm sure they're only implementing it if it makes sense for the game. And for, I guess, the majority of players, the big uh, player base, um, looking on a, on, a, on a bigger perspective, um, I'll sit back and kind of hold my judgment. We'll see how it goes. Finally, the upgrade time and costs have been uh, reduced, I think. For the free spell levels 1 through 5, clone spells 1 through 5, heal spells 4 through 5. Um, we seem to see that every balancing update, which is cool, but it's frustrating thinking, okay, I spent so much time and resources on those, and now it's much easier for new players. But hey, no complaints from me. Um, it's nice to see the these higher level stuff be more accessible to players as they're upgrading through their bases. So all good stuff there. Um, overall, I think it's going to be a... Um, this part of the update is going to be a good one. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think especially the heal spell at Town Hall 10 is something I personally can look forward to. But also the new stuff at Town Hall 11. We might see even more 11 v 11 three star attempts. But like I said, Town Hall 10 has to get a little a little bit more realistic in terms of three stars before Town Hall 11 can start to do 11 v 11 triples. Because in some circumstances, Town Hall 11 bases aren't that much harder to three star than Town Hall 10 bases in some wars because they're so much less designed against the three star. So we might see base building change, especially at Town Hall 11. Who knows how this is all going to play out, um, especially because a lot of the update um, is still in the dark. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm excited for when it comes out. Should be awesome. But that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll try to, you know, address the questions, keep the conversation going below. Uh, as I, as I, I'll do my best to, uh, to talk with you guys in the comments. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.